Maintaining the free flow of information is what Twitter prides itself on. Yesterday, the social media giant announced it was going public, and that's left Wall Street investors all at Twitter with hopes the company will chirp its way into even more smartphones. Christina Stevens reports. It was the only logical way to make the announcement. Twitter tweeted its intention to go public. The founders and initial backers of Twitter are looking to get their exits. They want to get their money back out while the company is hot. Analysts say this is the time. The market for IPOs is heating up and Twitter is in a very good position. There's a lot of other people who would like to play in that space. They're a very attractive company to be acquired by other tech companies. Twitter has more than half a billion dollars in revenue. The big question will be what it's actually worth. To value a social media company like Twitter is akin to voodoo. The estimates range between 9 and 10 to 14 billion dollars U.S. Its valuation when it goes public is critical. Last year after its IPO, Facebook shares plummeted before finally rebounding months later. This is very different than the Facebook situation. The buzz all around Facebook was not that they were going public but the amount of money that they were li listing at, the amount that the company had been valued for. That's not at all the situation. Here. It's the world's largest professional network. Some compare Twitter to LinkedIn, which has boomed since day. going public. This tech investor is a small shareholder in Twitter. He says its long-term prospects are positive. This is one of these potentially iconic companies. Twitter has a really unique place in this, in this society um, that it really is the, the distribution platform for information. And that is not going, going to go away. But other experts say it's a gamble, partly because Twitter still isn't truly global, which is critical. A huge chunk of their users are still in Anglophonic markets, like uh, you know the US and Canada and the UK, and they really have to diversify globally before it can be really, really stable. It'll still be some months before Twitter shares go public. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.